what is going on guys in this video what we're going to be talking about is how do we get our atms in the most profitable places imaginable let's talk about it what is going on guys welcome to the channel um if you are a new subscriber welcome to the channel and if you are a returning subscriber i want to welcome you guys back so Right before we jump into this, I want to let you guys know, a lot of you already know, that uh, I released the ATM Bible the other day, you know what I mean? Um, the ATM Millionaire's Course, it is out, um, and you guys can still pick that up. It's over five hours worth of content of every single thing that I know about the ATM business, as well as um, you know all the contracts and documents that you could ever really need are also going to be included in the course as well as my unlimited mentorship for life um, for a select few people okay so I know I, I dropped the course I believe it was yesterday and um, yeah yesterday or the day before and I know a lot of you guys were having a hard time getting in uh, it's just because you know it was launch day and with so many people trying to get on at the same time um, the website that I used to host the course kind of crash so I know a lot of you guys got in today so uh, look out for those success stories coming in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months I'm gonna post them right here do a couple of interviews um, but guys if you are really serious about the ATM business I suggest that you pick up this course it is the only course online right now that is going to give you every single piece of information that you could possibly ever need about the ATM business okay and also with my personal mentorship included in that there's no reason why you can't create a passive income um, creating an income that's more than sufficient for you to quit your job okay so the link for that is going to be in the description and without further ado let's jump into this okay so this this video is going to be about how exactly are we going to get our ATMs into super, super profitable locations, right? How are we going to make uh, $1,500 a month, $3,000 a month? How are we going to do that, okay? Because obviously you're not going to make $1,500 to $3,000 from a barbershop unless it's like a, I don't know, unless like LeBron or something, you know, creates a barbershop. If LeBron created a barbershop, it would make you, it would make you more than $3,000 a month, okay? Um, but you know we have to be realistic about this guys if you want to make the big dollars you are gonna to have to have a little bit of experience and you're gonna or or you're gonna to have to know exactly what it is that you're talking about okay and that's gonna bring me to my first my first thing that I need to say about this is know your stuff okay know it know everything about the ATM business I need you guys to know this stuff inside and out um, and the reason that you want to know every single thing that there is about the ATM business is because when you go to, a, let's say you go to a barbershop, right? If you go to a barbershop and you get to saying, hey, you know, I'm going to split this surcharge with you and this and that, they're going to think you're a freaking genius. They're going to think that you are like the businessman of the year because they're going to be like, surcharge? What is a surcharge, right? They're going to look at you with, you know, like dazzling eyes, right? They're going to look at you with, you know, like, man, this guy really knows his stuff and he's going to cut me his great deal. And, you know, it's going to be easy to get those locations, okay? And remember what we always say, no matter what it is that you do in life, the more barriers that there are for you to get through, you know, the more um, profitable the outcome is going to be okay so yeah you can get a bunch of uh, barbershops or salons or whatever you want to do you can do that but we need to have a higher level of education when we are dealing with business owners um, you know the, you know the more upscale business owners that will bring us more profit okay so certain gentlemen's clubs certain big bars right really big bars maybe a big club maybe um even some people depending on your location you might be able to get an atm in a uh what's it called like the the places at the dmv where you the license bureau right you know when you have to pay for your tags and stuff i know where i'm from they don't take credit cards or debit cards we have to use an atm um they do have an atm in, in that particular one that i go to but i have been to some smaller ones that actually don't um they actually don't have an atm but they get a similar amount of foot traffic so 
I'm actually looking into putting an ATM in that location myself, but that's a story for another day. So anyway, you need to know everything that there is about the business, okay? You can get away with not knowing anything when you're talking to a, a barber or to maybe a, you know, a hairstylist or something like that. But you know, you can just say the word surcharge and they're gonna be impressed. But when you get to talking to you know big name brand uh, brand owners like these clubs and gentlemen's clubs and things of that nature, you guys are going to have to know your stuff. So you're going to need to know your you're going to need to know your uh, ISOs. You're going to need to know what a uh, IAD is. You're going to need to know about you know talk about surcharge. Obviously, you know you're going to want to bring up bank networks. You're going to want to bring all of this stuff into your conversation with these business owners because it's going to give them the impression that you know what you're talking about. And depending on the status of the location and the person, what you need to say to them is going to change. So the same thing that you say to a, a barbershop owner, it's not going to be the same thing that you say to a gentleman's club owner, like a real big name, um, you know, gentleman's club owner, or a real big club owner, mostly because a lot of those guys have already put in time in, uh, you know, in, in this, in uh, not in this business, but in their respective businesses. So they understand when they're being gamed, right? You don't want to go in there and the only thing that you know how to talk about is surcharge, okay? You want to show them that you know what it is that you're talking about. They're not going to ask you about, you know, ISOs or IADs and things of that nature, but you're going to want to bring that up because, you know, in the midst of a casual conversation or, or business talks, you want to bring to their attention that you know exactly what you're talking about. You know all the ins and outs of how the ATMs work, how they're going to be programmed, all the different paperwork. You want to know all of that stuff, okay? And you guys aren't going to find that information anywhere else um, realistically. I mean, you, you can, um, but you know, a lot of the information out there is uh, outdated. It's from like maybe 2007 or something like that. So that's why I say, guys, you guys need to have a mentor or you guys need to have a source where you're getting this information from. You can't just make any of this information up, all right? And that's why, like I said before, I created the ATM Bible for this purpose, okay? We talk about ISOs, we talk about IADs, we talk about interchange, surcharge fees, we talk about acquirers fees, bank networks, we talk about even the security risk, like skimming. And all of those different things, you guys need to know that if you want to get into these, um, you know, these more upscale uh, locations, okay? So that's my rant on that. Now, the other thing that you guys will want to do is you want to make sure you have all of your contracts and all of your documents prepared, okay? So you guys want to, you know, I've talked about this in the previous video, um, but you guys need to have all of your contracts, your documents, you want to have all of that stuff ready. You guys want to have, even if you weren't doing this before, you want to have your your clothing, you know, maybe be branded with your logo. You want to have your cover sheet, okay? You want to have a website. You want to be the most, you want to, you want to try to be more professional than the person that you're dealing with. And you're always going to be more professional than somebody at the barbershop. But you, you might have to step it up a little bit if you want to get into some of these small casinos or if you want to get into these uh, weed dispensaries, or if you want to get into these gentlemen clubs, you guys are going to have to step it up, okay? Because we talked about in one of the other videos exactly, you know, what should we should be saying to these business owners. And But this is kind of, this video is going to be focused more on the locations, okay? So we're talking, so you kind of got to look at the location and then you have to think to yourself, okay, well, how professional you know, how much do I need to amp it up in order to make sure that I get this location, okay? Because the different business owners are going to be, you know, they're going to differ depending on what the location is, okay? And if you're trying to get in the high, you know, a high cost uh, location, you're going to have to bring your A game because realistically, you can bag a barbershop with your C game. I'm not saying that you shouldn't always be professional. I'm just saying that you really need to be on your P's and Q's when you're dealing with these with these bigger locations, okay, guys? Um, so, you know, don't take what I'm saying the wrong way. You should always be professional, but you guys need to have your A game um, when you're talking to these, these bigger, you know, these bigger locations, okay? This is the only way that you're going to snag those, all right? And another good thing to do is you get your customer testimonials. 
So you, you know, one of the biggest, well, you get your customer text testimonials and also build up your resume. And the reason that this is really, really important and this is what could drive things home is because now you have credibility in the ATM community. So now if, you know, if someone is on the edge and they need a deciding factor in order to, you know, have them give you that location, they're going to want to see, hey, maybe, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be the first person that this, you know, this guy or this girl is putting their ATM in my location because I don't know what's going to happen if they put it into my location. I don't know, you know, uh, what could potentially happen. Is it going to screw up my, my network, my Wi-Fi network or whatever the case may be, or, you know, things of that nature. You want to have that resume, right? Where you have a list of all of your, your current, um, you, you know, your current customers or current locations where you have ATMs at. So you can give them some time to say, hey, I, you know, I'm gonna go check out their ATM or I can get in contact with the other business owners that are already working with this person and see, you know, what they say about the customer service, you know, do, you know, how professional is this person. Um, you know, having that resume and having those customer testimonials are what exactly is going to, you know, drive that sale home for you, okay? So, have, you know, especially if you could potentially get uh, customer testimonials and then like have them on a website, you know, so whatever your website is, you can just have like a little tab where they can click on testimonials and then just have video testimonials from um, some of the location owners that you've already previously worked with. And, you know, you can always tell the, uh, the, you know, the bigger customer here, you could be like, hey, what I want you to do, if, if you're still on the fence, go to my website, check out my mission statement, and then also check out, um, and then also check out my testimonials. I have a bunch of video testimonials for my, you know, for the other people that I work with. And I know that this technique has personally worked for me um, when I'm trying to, uh, or me or my business partner, when we're trying to approach a, a, a high level, uh, a high level deal with a, with a, with a bigger location, we always refer them to our website and we always refer them to, you know, exactly where they can find our testimonials from a lot of the other people that we have um, worked with. Okay. Um, and another good thing, another way that you can do this, this is playing a little bit dirty, but, but not so much. So it, it really is depends. You call out the faults of your competitors. Okay. And when I say competitors, it doesn't necessarily mean someone else who is, um, you know, selling AT a ATM. So in, in that regard, not necessarily an IAD, I'm not necessarily talking about other IADs. I'm talking about, you know, like banks, you know, and some of those credit unions that might have an ATM and you want to call out the faults of them. And what I mean by that is you want to bring up, Hey, why are they, you know, charging you to have their ATM in your location? Because you know, some banks do that. Some banks, their ATMs are so much more expensive to have in the location and it's not worth it for uh, business owners to actually have ATMs in their location. So if they do have an ATM in their location, they're paid a lot of money for it or they're still paying a lot of money for it, okay? And, and again, that's where we as IEDs come in and we tell them, hey, this is a no cost to you. You're gonna make money by having my ATM in there because business owners do not know that there is such a thing as an independent deployer. They only know that banks typically own ATMs. They don't realize that over 50% of all the ATMs in the United States are actually independently owned, okay? And you wanna bring that to their attention. You want to bring out the fact that, hey, you're paying so much money to have this bank ATM in there. If you could find a way to get out of this, you know, you will make a lot of money working with me. Okay. And then, and even if hypothetically, if you go into a location and you see that they already have another IED's uh, ATM in the area that you want, you could talk to them and say, hey, so how much? How much are you getting uh, in terms of surcharge? How much are you getting in terms of the profit? You know, are you getting what, 50%? Are you getting 30%? What? If they're getting 30%, you say, you know what? I'll give you 35%, okay? If they're offering 35%, you say, you know what? I'll give you 
okay um it's just all about you have to get you guys have to treat this um you have to treat this as you know as a real as a, a real functioning business and you are the ceo you have to make the big calls and you have to have information on hand to make the best possible decisions okay um you know the, the kind of the reason why um, i'm bringing this whole thing up is because you know some people that i've been running into and some of some of my students have made this mistake as well i've noticed um with the original master class that i had a couple months back for this a lot of people were like hey you know i walked into a barber shop and, and i didn't really have anything on i had my i had my uh I had my baseball hat on and I had, you know, flip flops on and, you know, I still nagged, you know, snagged the deal. And then they go to like a hotel or something and try to do the same exact thing and they get turned down. Okay. And that's a problem. That's a problem, guys. That's a big, that's a very big problem that you, that you would feel that you, that that's how this works. It doesn't work like this, just like in any other business model, just like with anything else in real life, there's levels to all of this, okay? If you, you know, the barber shops and the hair salons and stuff like that, that's level one, guys. You know, that is level one. You know, these gentlemen's clubs, these, these big clubs, these big bars, that's like, you know, top level stuff, guys. You can, you can potentially start today and, nag, and snag one of those today but you need to know what it is that you're talking about and you need to have your A game prepared. So again, that's why I created the ATM Bible, guys. The ATM Bible has every single thing that you would ever need to know and you could you could potentially, you know, if you were to get started and you were to go through all five hours of that content today, you could go and snag a hotel tomorrow, okay? That's how effective knowing your stuff is. All right, because we need to be the masters of our craft and we have to take it as seriously as possible, guys. OK, um, so, yeah, that's my rant on that for today. Um, if you found this educational, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure you hit the notification button so the next time I make a video, you will be notified about it again. If you guys, if any of you guys are interested in getting an unlimited lifetime membership with me, and if you guys are interested in my ATM Bible that I dropped the other day, um, the link for that is going to be in the description. Um, the slots are about a little over halfway filled. Um, we had a couple of server problems, but um, everything should be fixed now. So you guys should still be able to get in. Um, again, uh, it's going to be a little bit over 50, 50, 60 videos. And um, it's going to be a little over five hours worth of content. We're going to talk about everything under the sun, even things that you cannot find here on YouTube. And um, also, you guys are going to get a lifetime membership with me, which means that you guys are going to get my, a personal phone number to text me at, as well as a personal email to get in contact with me, okay? Um, so, I hope to work with all of you soon. And um, until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.